Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we're gonna to be talking about video screen recorders. We're gonna talk about how you actually capture what's going on on your computer screen, whether you're using a Mac or a PC. So there are a lot of screen recorders out there available. There's only a couple of good ones in my opinion, personally. Um, and I know some of you might have some differing opinions. So we're gonna talk about some of the free screen recorders available that you can get for Mac or PC. And we're gonna talk about some of the paid better screen recorders that you can go ahead and get. So some of the paid screen recorders, just to start off right from the bat with the best of the best are gonna be ScreenFlow and Camtasia. If you're on the Windows side, this means Camtasia Studio. This is gonna be a little bit more expensive. If you're on the Mac, you can get just Camtasia for about 99 bucks. You can get ScreenFlow for about the same price. ScreenFlow and Camtasia do a lot of the same things. Not only do they record the screen, but they also allow you to go ahead and zoom in on specific areas. And there are a lot of other programs that do that as well. I believe even another program that you can get that's only $25 on the Mac called Voila, which is what I use. I think it also has that capability. I just choose not to take advantage of it. But again, it's pretty common in the paid screen recorders for you to be able to have this zoom in capability. So that's actually pretty cool. What I will say about Camtasia is it creates this huge resource file on your uh, desktop or your hard drive or whatever. So that takes up a lot of space and I really don't like that fact personally. So I'm more apt to use something like Voila or ScreenFlow to avoid that particular problem. In terms of free screen recorders, if you're on a Mac, you can actually use QuickTime and that will actually be a free screen recorder that you can use. Now the thing about that is just depending on the specs of your Mac, you might have some syncing issues as far as post-process editing in something like Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure why the audio doesn't sync up the way that's supposed to there or the frame rate's not consistent, but that happens ever since like the Yosemite update. So hopefully they'll fix that in Mac OS X um, El Capitan and we won't have to deal with that anymore. So I would say that that's one you could use for Mac or PC, I believe you can use Open Broadcaster, and I'll have links to this stuff in the description below, and that will help you out. What I use over on the Windows side uh, is I actually use a screen recorder called uh, Free Video Screen Recorder, and I'll have a link to that in the description below, but that works flawlessly for me. Uh, most of the screen recorders that I'm using can record up to 60 frames per second, which is why I like to do for my tutorial videos. That's why I do in voila here, and that's what I used to do with QuickTime before uh, it stopped working properly. And that's also what I do with uh, you know free uh, screen recorder for Windows. So that will work on Windows 8.1, Windows 8, and Windows 10. So regardless of which Windows operating system you use, if you're using modern Windows operating systems, you should be able to use Open Broadcaster and free uh, video screen recorder with no issues. Again, also on the Windows side, you could use um, Camtasia. If you are still, I think, on Windows 8, you might actually be able to use Cam Studio, which is not Camtasia, it's Cam Studio, but it can use the free lossless um, codec from Camtasia, and you can do screen recording that way as well. That's why I used to do a lot of my early Photoshop tutorials with. So uh, I would say you could take advantage of that, and you'll be just fine. I've heard of some other uh, screen recorders out there. NVIDIA apparently has one that is used by a lot of people for gaming. And I also have heard about Fraps, which I don't use personally, but I've heard uh, mixed reviews on that. Uh, if you have recommendations for screen recording software, definitely use that in the uh, comment section below and we'll talk some more about it. But again, this is what I'm considering to be uh, some of the best paid and free video recording software that I wanted to talk to you guys about. If you have questions, definitely leave those in the comment section below and I'll try and answer as many of your questions as I can. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and don't forget, create something awesome today.